The Yellow Dog Plains sits in the middle of the Michigami Highlands. It's very flat, it's very sandy, and its current use is basically as a managed tree farm. And it's surrounded by wetlands and surrounded by wilderness areas. So it's just a very rare piece of the world that hasn't been developed yet. It has one road, one dirt road that goes through the middle of it that in the winter is used as a snowmobile trail, and the rest of the year um, it's access for folks to get out there to recreate. It's really a large recreation area. This morning we're conducting one of our uh, weekly surveys of fish on the spawning sites. So we, we count the number of fish, their relative size, and we record any of their behaviors. A coaster brook trout is a brook trout that leaves its river where it was spawned and goes out into Lake Superior and generally grows big before it comes back up river to spawn again. The female does the initial work by digging a red, which is the nest where these fish are gonna lay their eggs. And then once she lays her eggs, the males fertilize those eggs. And then the eggs are covered over with gravel and they develop under that gravel for some time through the winter. The habitat needs of a coaster brook trout population are twofold. Certainly they need high quality lake habitat with good clean water, but they also need clean running and exposed gravel substrate in, in the rivers. Coaster brook trout in the Salmon Trout River in, in some respects have endured uh, threats and impacts um, since the early 1800s, starting with, with fishing um, and introduced species. Um, and certainly in the early history of this area, um, extensive logging uh, change the landscape, alter the watershed, further hindering coaster brook trout. You could almost think of coaster brook trout enduring the last several hundred years of impacts. There are certain current new threats on the horizon for coaster brook trout um, and their restoration, and certainly one of those um, is the potential mine in the headwaters of salmon trout. We have gone through periods in Michigan history where we have gone to extraction at any cost. Extraction of minerals, extraction of timber, at costs that were too high. We have come around now to understanding more about the trade-offs between extraction and protection. I think of the coaster brook trout as a legacy species. It has an important history in the establishment of the fauna of, of Lake Superior. It was, it was one of the originals. I think we all want essentially the same future. We want clean water, we want clean air, and we want wild places that are still out there. Whether we go to them or not, we want to know they're there. I want you to remember, as someone who grew up in the state of Michigan, what Michigan means to you. I want you to remember those special places that you were when you were a kid. I want you to remember what not just the UP, but what all of Michigan means to you because um, this is our opportunity to make and keep what we remember going forward for our kids. And it's just important to remember, always remember what we love about the state of Michigan and keep it right. <laughs>